With head coverings to identify drivers or suspected criminals, worries some. I think we do need a more measured approach. I think we need consultation with the community. This is an absurd response. Uh, it's an absolutely unnecessary change that's nothing more than a knee-jerk reaction. The debate over burkas and niqabs started when Carnita Matthews was pulled over last year. Asked to remove her head veil, she accused the officer of trying to rip it off. She was found guilty of falsely accusing an officer, but later acquitted because by wearing a veil, her identity couldn't be proved. A lawyer exploited a legal loophole. The new laws will close. It's the government who's got to make the laws, and obviously the laws weren't uh, made with any foresight of these sorts of problems. Muslim women say they have no problem with lifting their veils for police as long as officers are sensitive. We need to be quite careful with how we approach this, both from a legislation point of view and from an enforcement point of view when it comes to the police officers actually enforcing these laws. Local leaders agree that Carnita Matthews' case and the violence that followed hasn't done the Muslim community any favours. They're now hoping these new laws don't divide the community further. Parliament will vote on the proposed laws next month. Andrew Denny, 10 News. The family of murdered Sydney girl Kaisha Abrahams is still waiting to hold her funeral.